Hi you guys, I'm back with another video and I have these beautiful beads in my hand because why are they so precious to me? Because I made them. Mm -hmm. I made these very pretty beautiful bracelets, a fearless bracelet, don't know how good you'll be able to see this, can you see that good? And the other one with the yellow tassel has a brave charm on it. Um, I made these. And the purpose of this video is to talk about like how it took me almost 30 years to realize how important self-care is for me. And um, well, how important self-care is in general. Nobody ever taught me what self-care was. And growing up, I always thought self-care was getting your hair done, facial, nails done, toes done, massage, shopping. That's what I thought self-care was. And now that I am a mom and a wife and a aspiring businesswoman, I realize that self-care is much more than that. Self-care is doing what you love, doing things that make you feel good. Self-care is saying no to things that you don't want to do. Self-care is saying yes to the things you really want to do. Self-care is pursuing your purpose. Self-care is... Oh gosh, the way you communicate with yourself. Self-care is your mindset. Self-care is the way you feel about your body. Self-care is what you, it's just you mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. That's what self-care is. When I say you can't pour from an empty cup, it's so true. And for a long time, my cup was empty and I was trying to pour from an empty cup. How can you do that? And then it dawned on me that I have not been taking care of myself properly, meaning saying yes to blogging, saying yes to doing this, YouTube. I love it. It makes me glow. Self-care is pursuing the businesses that I desire to do. Self-care is being free, being fearless, being bold in what you want to do. That is self-care, and it took me up until, guys, I kid you not, I would say November last month to really realize. I even read a few blog posts about self-care, um, and for me, I was a people pleaser and not even realizing that that was like just making me melt away. I for had forgotten about myself and who I really was, and... You know, now I'm being restored and I'm realizing what self-care is. And saying no used to be so hard for me. But now saying no is like no. And I mean no. Like telling my kids no. I mean no. To grown people, I'm telling this to. Even to things that I know that I'm not supposed to be doing. Things that I know I'm putting energy into that I shouldn't be. Things that I'm putting energy into that is just not supposed to be happening right now in this season of my life um it's just that and society can do that to you you see all these moms like kim kardashian and beyonce sierra all these moms that are like bomb.com like and you can begin to compare instead of looking at their lives and taking away positivity from it it's like it's all of that stuff that takes away from you because you feel like you have to be a certain way as a mom or as a woman or as a wife. And that's so not true. So self-care is really accepting yourself for who you are right now at this very moment. And if there is things that you need to change, write it down. Take a step at a time. Take it a day at a time. But you have to become aware of the things that are, that are taken away from your cup. Things that are just taken out of your cup and causing you not to be able to fill yourself up you can't pour from an empty cup and you know I will say I thank God for awareness because God has really been showing me this past two months who I really am and who I need to be as I go into 2017 so I, I can't stress enough how important self-care is. I'm not a self-care expert. I'm not a self, like I'm a self-care advocate. Advocate. I am going to start advocating for self-care, especially among moms, because 
You know, we need to be there for our kids mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And we can't do that if we're not where we need to be mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. So that is the whole purpose for the Mommy Glow Up. And it's all about glowing up. It's all about filling yourself up with things that make you glow so you can glow for your children, you can glow for your husband, you can glow for whoever else you need to be there for. That is what the Mommy Glow Up is all about. Um, and this is something so near and dear to my heart because I know what I've been through the past few years. And to finally get in a place where I'm okay with myself and I'm not trying to please people or compare myself or run away from success or be fearful or run away from rejection. I'm at that place right now in my life. And this is exactly where I wanted to be before I reached my 30th birthday. So it's nothing but glowing up from here. And I know I have to stick to a self-care routine. So not only physically taking care of myself, but mentally, spiritually, and emotionally taking care of myself. And this is what the mommy glow up is going to be all about um i'm so excited and this is a part of me glowing here on youtube my little space um i love doing videos so i'm gonna do it because i like it and i'm not gonna compare myself to the other youtubers that have been doing this for years they started from the bottom just like me and i have to learn to accept that and embrace me i can't compare myself to other youtubers who are doing it big and got a million subscribers and three and thirty thousand views on their videos i'm not there yet but if i start where i am right now and i embrace me for who i am right now i can get there so loving myself is a part of my glow up so i want to encourage you that if you never really knew what self-care was i want you to dive into it right now say no it's okay say yes it's okay do what you love. It's okay because at the end of the day, it's your life. If you live your life for other people, they're not going to be there for you all the time. And they're not going to be able to fill you up the way that you can. So the importance of self-care. I'm so glad I've learned this right now where I am in my life. It was for a reason. I had to go through what I had to go through for a reason. So it's time for me to advocate for this and encourage other women to do it. So, um... That is what it's going to be all about. So I want you to continue to glow and remember to love yourself.